We need a sign. And four, three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to Flavors for the World. This is my wife Sarah's channel, I guess you call this, right? Channel? Sure, YouTube. Camera crew, Mel. Good job. Scenes, editing. Um, I don't know. She asked me to do some, some cooking stuff. I'm not a professional. Uh, none of us are, but we all like to eat. We all enjoy cooking. We both work a lot of hours. I work 10 hours a day. She works 10 to 12 hours a day. So anything you can do to be ready for the week, prep, um, the better your stuff's going to turn out. The more you prep and get all that work done because nobody's got time to do it during a week. Uh, buy local. We uh, this picked this up this morning at just a local store here where we live in Missouri. Um, when I say local, I mean Walmart's fine and all, but you know, that meat ain't coming from anywhere around the area. Who knows where it's coming from? But, uh, so we buy local stuff. You can get whole fryers cut up for you already. Um, Bone-in is flavor. I mean, there's not much around it. There's just, there's more flavor with bone. Uh, more moisture. When you cook it, the moisture in the bone, you know, comes out. And, um, they only had a couple fryers cut up, so we did some extra, some extra breasts because, you know, there's more meat on a breast. It's white meat. It seems like that's, older folks go more towards that. Um, so, that's what we got. We, we bought some marinade. It's a teriyaki of sesame and ginger at the store. You can find this stuff anywhere, you know, you guys just try what, you know, what comes local to you. Uh, so basically you just put this stuff in a bag. Now make sure you save some of this. Just get you a bowl and save a little bit so you can baste it on about 10 minutes or so before you're going to pull it off. <laughs> nice and tight. Just need a little bit for basting. Don't have to be a heck of a lot. Just keep in mind we're ordinary folks, so um, you know more than likely you'll probably hear some cussing along the way. Um, try not to, but sometimes it just happens. I was hoping all this stuff would fit in the bag, but we're probably going to have to split it up. So well, you want that marinade, you know, completely around everything, every piece. So we'll just probably split this fryer up. You know, back in the day they said, um, wash your meat. Always wash, rinse it all. Uh, now it's, that's all kind of changed. I don't really... You know, they said that you contaminate more and you can, you know, rip some of this excess skin off if you want. Um, you know, after that stuff cooks, we're going to do this stuff on the grill anyway, so it's pretty easy to take off, you know, afterwards. And there's, you know, moisture in skin too, so that all uh, helps out with the cooking. So we'll do about half in one bag, half in the other. So there is bacteria in chicken. I think everybody knows this. So make sure you do wash your hands regular. Try not to touch the outsides of uh, the bags with your uh, contaminated hands. Squeeze out the air. You want to do this, you know, a couple hours before, it really doesn't matter, you know, it's all in your timing. I mean, everybody works, so 
you know, if you go to the store that morning, you get home, throw it in a bag, and cook it in the afternoon, it's not going to hurt it. It's not going to over-season. Um, there again, do you have to do this stuff? Absolutely not. You know, salt and pepper on a grill is just as good as anything, you know, but everybody gets burnt out of the same old, same old, so try stuff different. You know, that's the, the whole the whole point of the, the show is for different, you know, trying new things. If you guys haven't figured this out, this is, uh, you know, new to us. Never done this stuff before. Uh, just starting out, too, so, you know, we got... We're using phone technology to film with. Sound quality might not be the greatest, but uh, the more you guys like and subscribe, maybe we can uh, upgrade some of that stuff and put out some better, better quality videos and whatnot. That's kind of up to you guys. If you like what you see, we'll continue doing it. Basically, you just get this stuff in this marinade. Make sure you move it around, get it inside and out every piece. And then after a while, we'll, um, we'll show you the grill we're using. It, you can use multiple grills, different styles. You can use your oven. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, there's so many different ways to cook, and a lot of you get. Everybody knows already what they prefer but and what they have at home. But you don't have to spend a lot of money and buy a bunch of fancy, expensive stuff. Um, it's all going to taste, you know, taste great when you get it finished. So I'll see you later when we uh, get the grill fired up. Oh, she needs to. Now that our chicken's been marinating, uh, probably five, six, seven hours, hell, I don't know, whenever we put it in there. Uh, now we got a pellet grill going. I'm using mesquite pellets. Really doesn't matter what you use because we're not smoking. We're using it as a grill, so anything above 300 is going to be good for just regular cooking. Any of the slow cooking stuff, if you Any of the slow cooking smoke stuff would be 200. The low settings on your smoker, if you have one of these. If you don't, by all means, you could use just a normal Weber grill, anything like that, charcoal, whatever you're into, whatever you got. If you're able to get one of these, I mean, it, it makes cooking a lot simpler. You don't have to worry about temperature, controlling temp, it's all controlled by a thermostat electric so it, it takes all the guesswork out of cooking but so these have been marinating and i don't even know if i discussed it earlier when we put them in the marinade but this is a teriyaki based marinade got it from a local store and don't forget to keep a little bit out to baste with for sure 10 minutes before you pull it off but um Anytime you want to baste is good, every half hour or whatever. Cooking at 4 to 4.30 temp, I'm just going to put them on 30 minutes with the smoker. You really don't have to open a lid with, but just to get the color we want and the marks, uh, 30 minutes I'll flip it, another 30 minutes it's going to be done. We're also doing some vegetables. We're going to throw in a pan with some butter. Sarah will talk about that. It all goes on the grill and be yummy. Obviously, you can use tongs so you don't get your hands all nasty. But after you're done putting the raw on, obviously, you want to go wash your hands. Just like the roast we did earlier, we're going to put fat. Or 
excuse me, the skin side up. Uh, that would just like ensure that you know the, the skin's holding in some of that moisture from cooking out. That's what we want. Come on, you sucker. That's a nice big big piece of the meat here. Luckily, I opened the bag with all the breast in it. I try to put them, the fire source on these, uh, most pellet grills is always in the center. So I try to try to put my breast meat on the, around the center somewhere of the grill. You know, these things cook with a pretty even heat, but, you know, just common sense kind of tell you that the heat source being in the center your uh, breast probably ought to be around that point. That's where your main heat source is. You skip two all the time. Go. <laughs> Better? Yeah. So it's been 30 minutes. Uh, we need to flip the chicken and just kind of, you know, feast your eyes on what's going on. Make sure it's doing what you want. It's looking amazing. There can be a uh, based on some of these. Okay. Burning the shit out of my finger. Our marinade that we put back. It's probably hard to see, but it's getting that little blackness around that. That's going to be really yummy. I'm just kind of moving this stuff to the front. As she based, I'll move the stuff from the back to the back. Spots. Chicken's great color. Roast is juicy and tender. Veggies turned out good. Now we sit as a family and eat. Mmm.